Hello everybody, Cute Grand Party Lessons here, welcome to episode 45 of Super Baby Mario. So, in the last episode, um, we, uh, got Dottie and fought Oak Chunks. Oak Cabbage, actually. So, in this episode, we will be finishing up chapter 5, um, and fighting the boss, but first, look at all these items. I'm not gonna get those pow pills yet, because when you have pow pills and you're mini, um, the pow pills, like, just crowd you and you can't see anything. Like, see, I can't see where I'm going. I actually don't know where I am. Okay, there we go. Anyway, now we want to... It'd be cool if the Pow Pills could take out a boss in one hit, but no, they can't. Anyway, we want to go over here, open this door, now that we have the Floro Sprout... What does this thing go? Yeah, Floro Sprout, Sprout on our head. No, don't shrink. We want to step into here. I think our Pow Pills are going to get killed right here. Oh no, they're not. All right, and enter the door. All right, so there's a ton of painting here. I don't want that sap too. Okay, no, you still have to die. Okay. Now, if you read this one, King Groves the Fourth, reign 1385 to present. Oh dear. So actually, what you're going to want to do, if I remember, is go to this one and flip. Yeah. Uh, there's gonna be cracks here. I think you're gonna want to use Boomer. Alrighty. And four dragon. No, no. Ultra shrimp. Mm. Let's block. All right, we turn that red. I'm not exactly sure what that does. What does that do? Um, uh, red to blue, I mean, blue to, oh, there's bomb, you can bomb these? Yeah. Oh, I have to be in 3D. I did not know that. Alright. Okay, I guess I'm gonna want to, uh, grab this crag number with Thoreau. This game takes it to a new low. U using hypnotized, stupid cavemen people in puzzles. Ones that involve throwing them at blocks. Okay, is this gonna work? I really don't think it's gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. Oh, I should have to do that. Okay, I think. Let's go to this one. You can bomb this one, okay. Kaboom! Hopefully it's not gonna hit by the Mr. Kragnum. Oh, come on! A land right on him? Really, game? Dang it. You really can't avoid that. There's no hope, too. Alright, then I suppose the last one I bomb is this one? Um... Well, I turn that one red. That one red, and this one red. So what else do I have to do? Maybe do I go talk to the painting? The red one again? OK, 
Okay. Do I just bomb this? Even like without No? Uh sunlight pause while I figure out what to do. Alright, after further experimenting, I've realized that you can switch the colors even more than blue and red. So we're gonna make I and I believe now we're, we want to make them the colors of the painting. So that's black. No. Uh, okay. I believe that we're gonna match the co uh, colors of the thingies. So don't touch you, Mr. Craigmon. Lose my points. I guess this one uh, you don't need to f you don't need to touch at all then. If you want to keep him as is, I guess. And then I guess now cracks will appear over here. Well, then, what? I know I need to go down here. Oh, okay. There weren't any cracks there. It's mean. It's very mean. It's terrible. Even. Alright. Well, like I gotta say, that's a pretty protected room. Alright. Through the door. Ooh, you! Oh, where? Oh, where are my pretties? Pretties, beautiful things. Oh, we bring them to me more, more. Ooh, what's this hideous clashing thing? Um, are you King Crocious? Ooh, you! So you must be the intruders I've heard so much about. Well, I will not forgive the great trashing of my beautiful kingdom. This is a kingdom? No, we owe. Thus you are warned. You only really trust the Craig's kingdom. King Crocious, you must release the Kragnons you've really enslaved. Never, their sturdy bodies make them such fine workers. Exquisite. I need them to dig up more jewels so I can gems so I can build a bejeweled place. Bejeweled the bullets. I'm positively horrid. Release them this instant. Precious garbage, no matter how you dress, the world's made for beauty. If you just improve and have a look at this. Okay, we need that. Give me that. Give me that now. It's a pure heart. I can hear it in your voice. You want it so badly. You can barely think. I can think. Since we all seek beauty, so dare you take a high horse over me. Don't compare us to you. We're nothing like you. Your blabber hurts my ears and your smell is wilting me. I can stand you no longer. I, I really see such things. Well, destroy myself. Consider it an honor. Uh, okay. How can he even see? Ooh, you here I come. Alrighty, this is King Crocious, the this guy won't open. The boss of this area. Um I remember what we need to do, which I don't. I think we need to get on these. Ow. Okay, hit him when his thing opens, because right here. Okay, you can't do anything. So let's get on his hands. Change the thugly so we can do more damage when it's open. Boom! Ow. But yeah, I don't remember this boss very well. It's really not the best. It's, it's it's not a hard boss, but I don't like the boss because it's it's just, it's kind of just there for random reasons. It kind of just happened like with chapter four, the boss of chapter four. It it it, it, it relates to this story. The boss of chapter three kind of relates to the story because Tippy um, was like changed after getting rescued by Francis, so that makes sense. But this one's just kind of random. It doesn't like ever involve the story again. All right. 
Now that we've done that, I think we're going to want to use Thoreau, if I remember. Yeah, and, uh, grab these things and chuck them back at him. When his eyes are open, yeah, just do that. Yeah, and last one. Oh, yeah. Oh, giving us more. Okay. I'm fine with that. Did we get it? Oh, wow, we got him. Okay, cool. Oh, no. Ow. No. Boom. All right. Come on, Mr. Kuroshi, man. No, not K Mr. Kuroshi. That was my fort. Uh, one of my LPs. Anyway, we beat him. Oh no, we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Even as I will, I am. I am beautiful. King Trojus. That was so easy. I didn't, I never remember that boss being that easy. Whoa, whoa, what did you guys do, huh? We've defeated your king. Get over it. Hey, shut up. You don't get it all. King Arthur was awesome. He totally thought of his people first, man. And you, you wilted him. What? What are you talking about? Water, man. Talking about water. The cranes were polluting our water. Those dudes were tossing trash into the river. We had to drink that crud. That dirty water was what drove our king bonkers. Don't you get it? So then, oh. Of course, I knew it all along. Oh, it's Flint, Craigley, Monzo, and Hornfield. Craigley Ho! Emergency special report from the floor front lines. Environment pollu environmental pollution drives floor savings mad. Wh whither will they ravage? So the villagers throwing garbage on the river was the reason for this whole thing? Well, I tried to tell those guys, but my thoughts were too far ahead of their time. This play, this play well with Green Craig on crowd. Rains explode, bro. It, it like Craig's on ice meets Ver Baron von Craigington. <laughs> yes, yeah, so once my fellow village receives, will surely rouse the air of the waves. Once the words of Flint, once the words of Flint Craigly reach them, they'll something. Yeah, water man. I mean, it's easily our most precious treasure. You know what I mean? Well, they are plans. The ground's not to dirty our water, and we'll just chill down here and be cool. Don't tell totally take those spreads off your villagers. Not against two men. Sounds like a family to keep the peace in the land. Keep those promises, folks. Wow. Letting on our king aside, you guys are totally heroes. You should take this. One of our earliest kings received, received this to safeguard until the hero's arrival. Our people have, like, kept that promise for, like, 1,500 years or something crazy like that. I'm sure our wilted king hero would be stoked that his duty got done. Okay, like, see, this is so random. I have, chapter 5, it's not my least favorite chapter, but it has my least favorite story. It's just so random. I just got a pure heart. We got a pure heart. And, oh, chapter. Man of true grit, witness, man of true grit, witness live what others can only see through Craig Vision. That is what moved me to travel into the belly of the beast week after week. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, Craigly Ho! Having wrapped their latest shoot, Flint and crew went back to downtown of Craig. Mario and Vince closed the six beer hard as they walked back towards Flipside. Our heroes had taken a new step towards overturning the prophecy of destruction. Alrighty, I will see you guys all next time on Super Paper Mario. Goodbye.